Well, it is the eve of the new season here at Vitality Stadium and Lewis Cook has joined us for a lap around the pitch to preview tomorrow's game against Blackburn Rovers. We'll also be discussing the mood in the camp, pre-season friendlies and the changes over the summer. Well, Lewis, thank you for joining us. You must be really looking forward to getting out there tomorrow. Yeah, definitely. I think um, it's been a great pre-season. Um, good to get back with the lads and yeah, we've trained hard for the last few weeks and hopefully we can bring all that together and, and, and have a good game tomorrow, yeah. And there's been a lot of changes over the summer. How have sort of the first few weeks under the new manager been? Yeah, obviously it's been a bit of a, um, a bit of a shock to the system to everyone, but uh, we bounced back quick and yeah, little little changes here and there. So um, I think that's been a positive for us, and obviously the quick turnaround is another positive as well. So yeah, we're just looking forward to getting back at it and yeah, giving it a good shot. And Graham Jones, he's also come in. What's he been able to add to the group that, that's already here? Yeah, I think obviously he's had a, a lot of experience in, in the game. He's been international level and, and obviously um, championship, etc., and stuff like that. So he's got a lot of uh, knowledge and his own ideas that he's, he's trying to implement. And yeah, a great person and uh, um, someone we're looking to have. And you mentioned pre season just a moment ago. We'll start with that game against Benfica. That must have been a great experience to go and play at the stadium and again get some minutes under the belt. Yeah, definitely. Um, it, was, it was a great game, great stadium, and a top, top team. I think that was a, it was a great test the first game and I think we took that, that test um, and the minutes in the bank into the next game and we did well. And the next game was of course West Ham, it was a, a brilliant performance, the manner of that win must have given everyone so much confidence. Yeah definitely I think first of all obviously getting a win against a, a good side again and the goals really, we saw a lot of goals, a lot of great goals and yeah um, positives in that respect and, and things to work on to, to bring into this game as well so it was good. Some great goals, as you say, five different scorers as well. It must have been nice to sort of share the goals around the team and, you know, talking about confidence for everyone, those that got on the score sheet, none more so than them. Yeah, for positive for them. They need, um, they need goals, obviously, wide men and strikers and things like that, and obviously central midfielders. To get goals is, is really pivotal going into the, into the season because obviously you need to score goals to win games. So I think that was a, a big positive in the game. And with everything that's happened, you know, the, the end of the last season, it doesn't seem that long ago. Does the quick turnaround almost help you guys sort of put the disappointment of relegation behind you and, and sort of move on? Yeah, definitely. I think the, turn, uh, the quick turnaround really helped us. Um, obviously, with lockdown and stuff, we had a lot of time to, to recuperate anyway. So going to, into the end of that season was tough mentally, but I think getting back to playing football is the main thing and the, the quick turnaround definitely helped us do that. And the last few weeks, it's sort of all been gearing towards this game against Backburn. How's the mood in the camp been? Yeah, it's been, it's been positive. Obviously, getting back training and things, the whole preseason kind of leads up to the, the first game and we're excited to get back playing football and, and trying to win games again. So, yeah, hopefully we can we take the last few games, uh, the positives, and try and score some goals and enjoy playing football again for us and the fans. And we've seen training footage and training galleries of you guys out on your bike rides. Does that give a little bit of variation? Yeah, it's a different dynamic, I think. Um, it's a bit of a break from, from training because it can be quite intense sometimes, you know. Um, we put a lot of work in on the field and... In between breaks, like you say, little bike rides like that or little coffee meets and things like that can, can really help. So, um, yeah, that's a, it's a good change. And the likes of Mark Pugh, he's come back, he's training with the squad while he doesn't have a club. How great is that for you and the rest of the lads to have such a good personality around the place? Yeah, obviously, everyone who knows Pugh, he's a, he's a top, top guy and uh, he's someone who's, who's great to have around the building. And, and on the pitch, obviously, he's, still, um, he's got a lot, of, a lot of talent as well and he's proved that over the years here. So, he's a great guy and a great person to have. And we've had a few youngsters come in um, in pre-season. We've got the likes of Jordan Zamora training. For them, how have they sort of settled into the group and, and how have they got on? Yeah, fine. I think obviously they've trained a few times, I think last year as well. So yeah, they fit in perfectly. They're, they're great guys, to, first of all, and they've got a lot of talent themselves as well, like you see in the games, um, a few goals from Jaden and things like that. So yeah, great to have uh, in and around the team and hopefully they can con continue to develop. And if we were to be stood here in eight months in May, What's, what's the ambition? Where do you guys want to be? What, what do you want to achieve this season? I think it's promotion. I think obviously we, we feel like we, we want to be a Premier League team again and we want to prove to everyone that we feel like we should be there. So that's the, that's the aim. I think that's everyone in the club wants that as well. So yeah, hopefully we can do that and I think it's going to be a challenge but we're ready for the, the fight. Well, Lewis, I'm sure I speak on behalf of all the fans and wishing you and the lads the best of luck for tomorrow. No, thank you. If you want to watch tomorrow's game, then you can tune in to AFCB TV Live. A match pass is just £10 or it's £2.50 for commentary. All information will be on afcb.co.uk or on our social media channels. Bye for now.